This girl secretly picked up the baby while her mother was away. She and her brother took the baby to the pool. The father was watching TV and didn't notice them. Then the boy grabbed the baby by the feet and picked him up. When the girl finished reading the Bible, the boy lowered the baby into the water. It went on like that for a few seconds. In the nick of time, Lola saw this horrible scene. She rushed over and grabbed the baby. Luckily, the baby cried out at the end. Lola was so angry that she slapped both of them. Realizing what was happening, Adolf decided to send the two children back to the convent. Two years ago, Lola had a miscarriage at her wedding and lost her fertility. So the couple came to the convent and adopted Tin and Tina. But when they arrived home, the dog kept barking at the children. But Lola and Adolf didn't think much of it. The next day, Lola suddenly realized that there was a cross on every doorway in the house. Since the two children grew up in a convent, she didn't say anything. At night, as soon as Tin and Tina entered the room, the dogs barked at them again as if they had seen something terrible. Lola rushed to stop it, but she didn't expect that the normally docile dog would bite her. This girl suddenly put a bag over her brother's head. Lola tried to stop her, but Tina signaled her to sit down. Just as Tim was about to choke, Tina took the bag away. Then she told Lola they were praying for Lola. Tin had just met God. At night, the dog that saw Tin and Tina looked as if it had seen something horrible. He barked at them and suddenly bit Lola. Although Lola didn't blame the dog, but Tin and Tina had already planned something. Late at night, they stole Lola's sleeping pills and put them in the dog's food. Then they pushed the food in front of the dog. Soon the dog fainted. They dragged the dog to the living room. Tina handed Tin a knife. With her encouragement, Tim plunged the knife into the dog's body. The next day, the two children stood in front of Lola's bed, covered in blood. Lola woke up and was shocked. She came into the living room and was devastated to see the dog's body. But the kids hugged their father and said they did it all for their mom. They didn't expect the dog to die. At night, Lola was awakened by strange noises. She went outside her room. Tin and Tina were walking on their knees and didn't stop until they passed out on the floor. Lola rushed up to check them out. There were a lot of knives and forks wrapped around their knees. They explained to Lola that they were doing penance for their dead dog. As instructed in the Bible, 